Now, here's an example of an entity that I think people tend to misdiagnose or or just a diagnosis that they tend not to think of when encountering cystic lesions in the pelvis. Now, this is actually a patient who has a long history of Crohn's disease, multiple prior resections, and notice that there are multiple fluid collections identified in the pelvis. Now, I'll tell you, without showing you the imaging, that these collections had been stable for many, many studies going back years in time. Now, if you look carefully at some of these images in the coronal plane in particular, notice how many of these fluid collections appear to envelop both ovaries. This is a classic appearance for peritoneal inclusion cysts. And these almost always occur in the setting of prior surgery, often GYN surgery in the pelvis, but they can occur in the setting of any other surgery that really damages the peritoneal lining. So these are classic peritoneal inclusion cysts.